what do you make of how it was clearly planned and executed? Well, obviously, I think it's an inside job. They had to know when she was going to be into the in the apartment or where she was. That she had that kind of jewelry, uh, and that could have been done by the concierge. Could have been done by anybody from doormen to airport workers. So I think there's an inside element to it. Uh, the getaway too. Uh, when you look at the getaway, they said bicycles. The bicycles might have went two blocks and went into a van, and then after the van, it went or a van or a truck, and they're gone. Usually. A planned heist, they split it up real quick. So it is more to the whole story, uh, Brooke. I mean, I never heard of bicycles. Then again, it's Paris, and a lot of people hop on bikes and small, charming streets, and away, away you go. Um, Stephen, on the bodyguard note, I mean, if you're rolling around, and listen, I have questions on even why one would have $10 million in jewels, but obviously she did. Why, why wasn't the bodyguard by her side the entire time she had that kind of jewelry on her? Apparently, she, apparently the bodyguard was out clubbing with some of the sisters. Right, and um, I think he was right on. I think it was an inside job due to that fact because uh, huh. the bodyguard, the main bodyguard, was sent to uh, be with the other the other sisters. So the the, the robbers, quote unquote, were not that lucky to get into a location that was a secret entrance and she was with no security. You add that with Snapchat, which is ridiculous to show all that jewelry on Snapchat um, and not have a second security guard there who was armed and maybe had police training is, is boggling to me. So I think he was really right on that it is definitely an inside job.